MC Pro 24 FPS is a feature-packed professional camera app for Android users and mobile filmmakers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the settings and use this incredible video app to make awesome cinematic films all on your smartphone. What's up? I'm RJ Bukulo, filmmaker, comic book creator, and mental health ambassador here to help empower you to tell better visual stories with the best mobile filmmaking tips, tricks, and techniques. If you haven't heard of this app already, MC Pro 24 FPS is a professional video camera app available only for Android users that seriously rivals Filmic Pro, the benchmark when it comes to professional mobile filmmaking. I actually made a previous video here highlighting how MC Pro 24 FPS is actually superior to Filmic Pro. One of the drawbacks I did mention in that video is MC Pro 24 FPS is so feature packed that it can be incredibly overwhelming just trying to navigate through all the technical settings and configurations. That's why I made this video to help both beginners and aspiring mobile filmmakers how to use this awesome filmmaking tool and tell your best stories. Now let's get to it. First, before anything else, let's go through all the settings, which can be accessed in the bottom part of the screen with the cogwheel icon. In the general settings, you can turn on helpful tools like the histogram, which will give you a live analytic of your color levels. Turning on EV will give you an exposure meter, telling you how much over or underexposed your shot is. The temperature meter will measure the approximate color temperature of your scene. Focus peaking is a very useful function that will visually tell you which part of your scene is in focus, especially when you're using manual focus. Exposure peaking will indicate which parts of your shot are overblown or crushed in terms of highlights and shadows using the zebra pattern. There are other visual aids that you can overlay on the screen, such as, such as safe area guides that tell you where to shoot in the frame, and also common composition grids like the rule of thirds or the golden ratio. You can even control how your audio meter will be displayed. I like my audio levels bouncing up and down. AWB Auto Lock is also a convenient feature for when using automatic white balance and getting it locked in as soon as you start recording. MC Pro 24 FPS is also unique in allowing you to customize its interface and layout and letting you choose what information to show on your screen. You can also choose where to store your recorded footage if your phone has a micro SD card slot. Although you're going to need a really fast SD card to be able to save your video files, especially 4K footage. Now we go into the video settings by clicking the camera icon on the bottom. Without getting into too much technical detail, MC Pro 24 FPS allows you to shoot with the GPU enabled or disabled. According to the developers, you can get better performance stability with the GPU turned off since your phone won't be working so hard. So first, choose your frame rate. Depending on your device, you'll be able to choose 24 FPS, 30 FPS, 60 FPS, or even beyond. Next, choose your resolution size and also your screen ratio. For the video codec, you have two options to record in. AVC H.264 is the most widely used and easy to work with. Bitrate refers to the quality of your video recording. The higher the number, the better the quality, but it also means bigger video files. In the hardware settings, you can control how you want your footage stabilized, whether optically or digitally or both. And you can also toggle hardware sharpness, which honestly makes smartphone footage too sharp and less filmic looking. Now let's enable GPU by going back to the top of the video settings to see the different options available with this toggled on. You'll notice you won't be able to access some of the higher frame rates, but you'll have access to new settings like cropping the video in the case when using an anamorphic lens attached to your phone. 
10-bit video recording is only accessible with GPU turned off. You'll have to change the codec to HEVC H.265 and then switch the color depth to 10 bits. Lastly, the audio settings can be accessed by clicking the microphone icon, which will then let you change the audio source, audio level, as well as sample rate and bit rate. On the top left, you'll be able to access all the available cameras on your phone, including the front and rear facing ones and different focal lengths. You can also turn on your flashlight if you wish. Next to it, you can cycle through different screen orientations, perfect for those who shoot vertical video or perhaps for when you need to mount your phone upside down. On the bottom right, next to the audio settings icon, you can change your lens aperture if your device supports it. Your controls for focusing are on the right side of the screen. You have different focus modes such as automatic, which works pretty well actually. Then you can also do touch focus, touching the part of the screen you want to be in focus, as indicated by the square, reticle, or box. The third focus mode is manual, which you can control with the slider wheel, which works really smoothly. You'll notice focus peaking can really help you out here. You can also program custom focus pulls by using these arrows over here. Your controls for exposure are on the left side of the screen. Right now it's set to automatic exposure, although you can increase or decrease the overall exposure. The lock button locks your exposure once you're happy with it, and the exposure will not shift even when you move the camera around. Notice the difference when auto exposure isn't locked in. You can turn on live analytics like zebras, which show what parts of your shot are overblown or crushed. Next to it, you can toggle false color, which helps you distinguish brightness levels with different colors. If you click the letter M, you will switch to manual exposure controls, where you can manually adjust the ISO and shutter speed to get the perfect exposure you want. By clicking the image sensor on the lower left, you can adjust your white balance, either as automatic or one of the presets for common lighting conditions. Or you could go completely manual and adjust the color temperature and tint yourself. In this image sensor menu, you'll be able to choose the gamut or color space you want to record in. The last settings in this menu are your gamma curve options, or what you might call color profiles. So here you can choose a plethora of options such as various log profiles that can bring out the best dynamic range in your footage. I believe this is where MC Pro 24 FPS really excels in. Next to the image sensor icon is a GPU processor icon, which gives you added options for image processing using your phone's GPU. You can modify the noise reduction and sharpness. You can also choose to apply a GPU gamma curve or color profile at this stage of the image processing. The last submenu allows you to create your own custom looks and color filters. Probably the most important function of all is the record button, which you can find on the top right. The circle will turn red when you press it to indicate that it is indeed recording. Apart from time duration, it will also indicate the file size of your recording as you progress. Also, next to the record button, you'll find a small box with a number in it that will count how many dropped or skipped frames there were in your recording, if any at all. Finally, on the left of the general settings button, you can open the file manager and review your recorded footage. Hopefully now you are able to have a functional understanding of how to use this incredible filmmaking app. If you really want to deep dive into all the technical features and what they do, there's a link in the description below to their official MC Pro 24 FPS user guide. 
I do warn you though, it can be a little dense and technical at times. But please do stick around the channel as I'll be making another follow-up video or two on how to shoot using the different gamma curves like log, and also how to capture 10-bit footage and edit it on video editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. With powerful and accessible filmmaking tools like MC Pro 24 FPS, there really is nothing in your way of telling the best visual stories and taking those steps to become the filmmaker you dream to be. Hey, if you found value in this video, please do help support the algorithm by hitting the like button or subscribe to my channel to see more awesome content like this. Until next time, reframe your mind.